Hill Spear will be the lone underclassman of this group that gets it started. We get started. Kaya Harrison drops it off to, to Becker, and she gets it to go. First two points of the game. Jack Day wide open in the paint. She gets it to go to tie the game at two. Of course, one of the things that head coach Megan Jebbio wants to make sure that her team does, play that good defense as we see a three goal from Matt She's only scored one point before that this season. Jack Dane working in the post. She can't get it to go. This ball goes to Kyle Harrison. That time they made the switch, and instead of Jack Dane being guarded by Mayer, they were she was guarded by Becker. Becker got off to a good start there. Defense on one end. Only eight to shoot for Wake Forest as Becker gets it over to Jules Spear, who's going to knock it down. Jules Spear. Bailey's trying to guard Spear. The back cut. So that's going to that's going to leave some close areas open. Pass. Wide open shot as Andrea Daly gets it to go. Let's see if Alex Brooks decides to go inside some to the mid post. She's got somebody guarding and he can't guard a quick pass. Good job there. Harrison with a great runner to put Wake Forest up. See Boston College setting up right here. Yeah. After the timeout, Elise Williams comes in the ball game for Mayer. Finding Scruggs. Harrison goes left and she floats it up. Gets that one to fall in. The rim has been kind to her on senior day. Give them some baskets. They've got to be in rhythm. Tough break for them there. And you mentioned this, Dan. Five turnovers for them so far early on in this game. Harrison feeling it and she knocks down the trophy. Yeah, that's a, that's a look what I found. Be interesting to see how she handles the speed of the game. Becker finds Harrison and she's feeling it. Continues to fill it. A nice job there on the matchup. And Harrison just made a little basket cut. 7-0 run for Harrison by herself as that stopped right there with the bucket. Yeah, we said a minute ago, Daly's got very good athleticism, long, can run. That's a block in the basket. It's a replay right here. Yeah, it is, and you drive inside, not defensively in position in Becker. Since they're only suiting up eight, as Mayer turns it over once again, Harrison out to Jewel, knocks it down. In what a great position. Cheering section is coming alive after that three. Nice drive and a bucket from Ava McGee showing why she is a big time player for Boston College. Stops a little bit of the bleeding for the Eagles. Becker cleans up the loss, scrubs wide open under the basket. She doesn't get it to go. Tyena Mayer brings it up for Boston College, gets it into Gakdang. She's going to get it out to Van Timmeren. Jack Dang and Hines, they're fighting down there in the low block. Trying to get position. Nice pass from Jack Dang to Timmer, Van Timmeren, and she gets it to go. Mayor controlling the offense. Van Timmeren getting position down in the low block, and man, Boston College is coming back. Boston College on that 10-0 no, 10 uh, run right now. Big time three point shot, and we have nice a tie ball game from inside. Joe Gillespie. Boston College currently in a 13 0 run. Now, you see that inside outside, and you notice there's zero for Wake Forest scoring. This is a great job. The guy thing does a nice job posting up. Make Demon Deacons have got to be do a better job defensively as well as offensively right now. Well, that's their first shot of the quarter, as now they are one for eight. Being able to run the floor, defend, and make the mid-range shot. That's a good look after the timeout for Wake Forest. And now we have a tie ball game once again. She's looking for a foul, but there's none there. Boston College is running. And Mayer gives Boston College the lead. That's so nice. Mayer got the ball in the middle of the floor. Wake Forest looks to try to take this lead back. Pulls up, big time, step back three, and that's what Jules Spear does. Yeah, that's what we just really say. Boston College can tie it or take the lead right here. They're going for the lead, and they get the lead from JoJo Lacey. Yeah, I really like JoJo Lacey. And let's see how they start this thing there. Five down to five. Step back for Elise Williams, and finally she gets it to go. Yeah, that's a good yeah. set. And also the fact that Harrison can go from one to two, and Williams can go from one to two. 
Jack Downs, using her moves, gets the bucket and the foul. Missed that one right there. As Gak Dang so far from the free throw line is only one of five for tonight. Jewel Spear left to the line, gets the three to go. Because you see a gap, it doesn't mean you gotta take it. Just take the time. Run your sits on the basketball, you'll get shots. Oh, that's nice. Gak Dang. Of course, a great free throw shooter as well. Makes all three right there. Wake Forest three point lead in the third quarter as Gak Dang wide open in the paint. Well, two people go after the basket. Jack Dane trying to find somebody to go. Daly able to get a go over Hines as now the game is tied once again. Which will be huge for Boston College if she can't play because she's their main ball handler. They marked it down. 335. The mayor picked up that first shot. That first shot's nice. Jack Dane is so amazing in the paint right there. Spear finds Hyde Harrison. Can't quite get it in, but big rebound from Scruggs, and she gets it to go. Harrison, open on the corner, but she's going to drive, and she has the open shot to tie the game at 47. Offensive rebound, her own is Wake Forest team, only behind Hines and Samuel. Van Timmeren gets the rebound. And gets the put back. It's left in this quarter. Gak Dang with the ball underneath, and that is absolutely her spot. Well, it could be anybody's spot if you run into the basket to score. Again, Wake Forest has got to do a better job. That's 6'3, long arms, very athletic. She's on the block right now. Nice job that time by Hines to take that away. And Timmerman with a nice shot from the free throw line. With four fouls, the fantastic freshman point guard for the evening. You can expect her. It should count the basket, and it should be a foul on the floor. Jules Spear. Nice entry pass. Hines with a nice basket after the cut. Working inside. Got Dane. Nice job there. Here we go. Couldn't get it out quick enough. Good job by Scrubs. Good hands. Elise Williams lets it fly. Wake Forest back on top. How are they going to try to keep Mayer out of foul trouble? What is Wake Forest going to do to try to attack her at this moment in the game? Left it short, but Andrea Daly gets the rebound and the putback, and she's going to the line. Jack Dang, once again, you cannot stop her in the paint. Hines this time matched up against Jack Dang. A little more size, a little stronger, forces away from the basket. There, misses, gets her own rebound, misses again, but look at Gak Dang Sky for the rebound oh, she and the put back. Another turnover for Boston College. And it's spear time. Oh, and the spear gets it to go, pulls him within three. Boston College, take your time, look for your players. There, the drive and kick. Gak Dang either in the low block or in the top. On the screen, roll at. Nice. Man, what a shot. goes down to the floor. No foul call, but that was a huge bucket for Andrea Daly. We have a 10-point game with under two minutes left to go. Wake Forest has lost at home to ranked teams, has not lost to unranked teams yet this year. Time basket by her. Spear dribbles out of trouble, gets the layup, pulls within eight. That one rims out. Harrison once again with the rebound. Becker down in the paint, passes out to Scruggs. Scruggs blocked by Gap Dan. Eight seconds to play in this game. Big hands by Boston College, and we're going to have a steal to end this game. And 73 to 63 is the final. The next time these teams will play will be next week in Greensboro.